Tonight, the Coast Guard is trying to figure out who is behind close to two dozen fake distress calls. The latest happened just this week, leading to a search that was a big waste of time and money. Eyewitness News reporter Jennifer Mobilia is live in studio with details that are new at 10. Well, Susan, the Coast Guard is taking this situation very seriously because every hour they're out chasing these bogus calls is an hour they may not be in position for a real emergency. Over the past two years, Coast Guard officials say there have been 23 hoax calls from the Warwick area, including these calls Thursday night and Friday morning. Mayday, 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 mayday. The Coast Guard traced the calls to the Mount Hope Bay and Providence River areas. Anytime that uh, we get a call over the radio, uh, over Channel 16, uh, stating mayday or some form of distress, uh, Coast Guard by policy is required to respond. The Coast Guard says the phony Mayday calls have led to over 100 hours of search time at a cost of hundreds of thousands of dollars over the past 24 months. If they become determined to be a hoax, then we're putting unnecessary risk on our crews and we're also risking taking Coast Guard assets away from mariners who may actually be in distress. The latest hoax calls are particularly frustrating because the choppers and crews used to respond are the same crews providing support to the Port of New York, which is still reeling from Hurricane Sandy. Everybody still takes it seriously, but when you're operating for up to 10 hours at any given time conducting these searches, it just uh, starts becoming physically and mentally exhausting on the crews. Now, making a phony distress call is a felony punishable by up to six years in prison and a $250,000 fine. If you know who's been making these fake calls, you're asked to contact the U.S. Coast Guard. I'm Jennifer Mobilia, Eyewitness News.